the radiometer. Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. And I encourage you to get out there into the field yourself and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. Watch my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting. And get it into the hobby. You can support my channel on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period, and I appreciate your financial support. The money of which goes to me buying more materials to bring you fascinating science demonstrations. Today's demonstration is on the radiometer, so let's get to the demonstration. This is a radio is a radiometer. It is on a shaft, four metal veins. On one side of each vein is painted white and on the other side of the vein is painted black. The radiometer is under a vacuum with some inert gas called argon. So it's under a partial vacuum. Sir William Crookes radiometer was developed in 1870 by the inventor. It's a frictionless rotor of four veins with dark and reflective white sides sealed off under a partial vacuum with some argon gas in it, thus not subject to air currents. Crook wanted to measure thallium, which is a lightweight element without air currents therefore interfering with his measurements but he noticed that light caused the veins to spin we will observe how light causes these veins to spin I have a light source here I'll turn it on and aim it toward the radiometer and you see it spinning. He postulated that it was caused by the pressure of light. He thought that the photons were hitting the white surfaces of the veins causing them to spin. But the veins spin when the light hits the black sides of the veins only, perplexing Crook. Then Desmond Reynolds in 1879 figured out what was going on. Reynolds postulated correctly that the veins were spinning when light shined on the black sides of the veins by thermal creep. Under a partial vacuum, the black sides absorb heat. The black side is hotter than the white side, so colder air on the white side circulates over to the black side to cool it off. So, more air pressure builds up on the dark side than on the white side. Warmer gas molecules have more kinetic energy and strike the black side with more force. So, there is warmer, higher kinetic gas pushing the veins on the black side and less gas on the white side. So, the radiometer turns around as light strikes the black sides of the veins. I'll aim the light a little closer. And now we can see the radiometer is turning even faster. Now I'll turn the light source off. And we'll watch the radiometer slowly come to a stop. You can buy radiometers at Scientifics Direct, Carolina Biological, 
Edmund Scientific's and other science catalogs on Google. Simply type in on Google radiometer and you will find websites that sell them. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals always reminding you in order to find those beautiful rocks and minerals to keep looking down.